Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Um, you've just casted your vote. Uh, and, 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 um, I'm sure you've observed the uh, voter turnout. Um, are you satisfied with turnout? Uh, thank you and good morning to all of you. Good morning to all Gambians and all KM residents. 
Yes, uh, I'm very happy to have casted my vote uh, with my wife, uh, Samuel Tijala and uh, just like the consular election, I think the turnout is similar. I've said it before, uh, presidential elections always have the highest turnout, the national assembly elections and local government elections. We expect that the turnout will be better than consular elections, but we don't expect it to be at the level of presidential elections, which is quite a uh, norm as far as uh, historical evidence is concerned. However, I always like to emphasize that local governments, as far as I am concerned, is the most important part of governance because the councillor and the mayor are the closest to the community. They are the uh, government officials that are elected at the community level and the development they bring is high impact at a community level. So I believe all Gambians should take an interest and come out in their large numbers and vote for their candidates of choice. Candidate of choice. Uh, Lord Mayor, um, when you um, were nominated, you were confident that you were going to win. Today is the D day. Um, how confident? I was confident before nomination. I am confident after nomination. Of course, the council election is already uh, a sample of the healing of from the community of KM, how they feel towards the council, my leadership and the council also. So we are still confident that we will uh, win this election from 5 o'clock. Mayor, Sepras projected you as a Some of your supporters on social media are saying that you are going to have 60% to move. What are your you know, target areas when it comes to percentage of winning this election? Uh, Sepras has never missed uh, presidential, we were very close, uh, in parliamentary, we were very close. I think in this survey, my win was predict predicted to be the most decisive, uh, meaning over 50%. Um, if people guess that it may be 60%, uh, that may be correct according to the survey because there's a lot of undecided as well. I believe based on the survey, it was 17%. But um, I'm not one to be taken away by service. What I'm confident about is people have confidence in the service we have done over the years. And we have done it in a very impartial way. We have tried to be a uniting force for all Gambians, regardless of political affiliation, tribe, etc. We want a Gambia for Gambians, and we want all Gambians to see themselves. Well. During the councillor's election, you said the councillor's election will have an impact on the mayoral election, whether positively or negatively. Now, today is the B day for the mayoral election. Do you maintain the same statement after your party won the majority in your country? Of course, uh, my statement was not political at all. It was based on law. Uh, if you look at the Local Government Act, the council is the executive, not the mayor. The council, the body of councillors, are the ones that make a decision on how council should operate, whether it be procurement, employment, budgeting, etc. So the mayor, um, I said in the Bakao rally, is more of the icing on the cake, but it's not the cake. Uh, the mayor sets the agenda, the mayor sets the vision, but the councillors make the decision via vote. So if you have a majority in the council, uh, in your political party, of course it's easy to bring your agenda on the table and have it approved right away, and vice versa. So um, in the council election, you interviewed me here, I told you, I said, uh, if the uh, UDP has majority in council, which we do now, and it's actually a super majority, because the first time we had 12, now we have 15, uh, the mandate of the council is already decided. And to make a correction, uh, nominated councillors cannot vote. Nominated councillors can only advocate for their constituents, but the voting is with the elected uh, councillors. So I'd like to make that clarification. I would also like to make a clarification that a mayor is not an executive. A mayor has no executive power. Uh, a mayor only has uh, 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 the power to lead. But the decision, like I said, always comes down to the vote, which the mayor never partakes. Thank you very much, Lord. Local language. Among the Santa Dillian Girem, the new Askani Gambia, you have Askani KMC, Dillian Santa Tamsi, you conducted the same during election week. Uh, for the most part, I'm an incident to bury. On the time, now I to see the much good because I'm a vigilante group. We set up Senbopa on the side of the NTP. Guy the house Senbopa, see my June estate, my president, the business. Uh, Nyingi Hancock, I see monitoring officers of our party. New Dorland, Sibir, 
majum estate ci bopam den ñu xam len over to PIU té bu mané kèn amna doolé ci bir dikk bi pour defu morom police amu doolé ko sakatuma civilian den ñi nga am report né gaay ñi nga am ay tesa ay tia gas ñi nga tia gas ci PR officer bi ñi nga tesa ay individual and this is the second incident an li lu ko waral moy president bi statement tam bu defon bopam zone defat nako ibo taw ko nga xamné dafa taxaw mi né boy ci patem nañ def lu len neex ngour bank sen ganaw an tay dama buga kon dem wax yoyu dikk bi luñ buga moy jama suñu mbokay ñi ngi all political party ndp suñu mboka lañ suñu harit yangfa suñu anti yangfa suñu mam yangfa and vice versa dikk bi dafa daw ndaw ñun ñep ñoo bokka gambia ben la so nañ fray ñu jamalante politique mom xalaati outil la rek mo tay jarut xex jarut xexu tay jëkëri jabar ñu ngi dëkk bi nak kër bi ñu support different party comme football team rek waaw comme ñu ngi leen di xelal né advice bobu nako npp militancy reject du advice bu baax di leen wax né ñun ñep ben lañ man talib ben suba buga na ñun ñep ñu nekk ben an man suma wi né na leen saaf comme nu ma saafé udp and any other gambia lord mayo this is a very serious allegation it is not a ugly allegation it's a fact just allow me a talk and this is a serious allegation as for us we will take it to be allegation have you any concrete proofs to this incident because we've seen the government and counter the statement release that talib's flyer was brought down by the army and again i'm sure they will come with an counter to this again have you any concrete proofs First of all, the army bringing down my poster is not an allegation. It's on video. That's why I say it's a fact. Lu am lu ñu record lu ñu gis. Army bi tam dina ñu admit nañ ne ñu ñu ñoo waaje poster bi wonte not on their command. And distance distance nañ seen bopa from such acts. Because acts yoy mu ñoo remind dictators bi ñun ñep daw bu tax tay ñu fal fi president Adama Barrow. Kon dañu wara moytu torop fi adina la place da fa temporary alel da fa temporary because ñep dañoo dé so waru ta jaral nit ñi ñu yaaxa suñu dikka demba bu ñu bu gaay tie gasé ga is on video the videos are circulated when they are arrested at majum estate ñu handcuff len halatal civilian political civilian di handcuff kene sakatuma ci business yi kuy suñu president lool lu ñaaw la dem police yi tam mang len di advice because kéro bu president doon wax mi né xawma ay gp mu ci rally mon ko advice ni support yu sam first of all su fekke dafa demone ci rally bi ay ji waru ta atten ben parti sam program ay gp step event rek la wara atten ay gp is should not be a party sam party is for everybody just like num fa nekale npp non na fa nekale udp all gambians ko bokku party sam you should be there for them then lu lu gëna interesting is when they came to arrest individuals they did not arrest members of both parties they only took our udp youths four of them are right now at the piu office so we are demanding that they are released allowed to go vote and go back to their houses so you amut evidence or charges let them release us let them release the youths kon ma ngay ñaan ñep nañ dal li yefi liggey rew la rek jarul hecho jarul gulo du yefi tribe do you know what grounds this wow. were arrested i know they are detained on no grounds on no ground suñu lawyer bi dem na fa there's no grounds and naka nga arrester e eh, eh, nit as a civilian nga han ko why would you have weapons we even have a feeling that maybe the police are part of the operation so luma ñaan rek uh, nañ dal dekk bi dafa tu ñep ñoo bok and tay many people claiming to be npp which is the newest party they once members of the opposition so buñu repeat mistakes of the past nit dañu bëgg am place su dekk bi waré takam kon man talé bëggatu ma place mais ma nekk civilian dekk bi am jaam ay tin ñun ñep lool lañu ñaan so ma ngé ñaan youths yu nga xamné ñoy npp di ñaan youths yu nga xamné ñoy udp di ñaan gambé ni election la rek yi fi tana njit la pour agenda dekk bi ñu mek so né ñu limite ko to date suñ paré ñu délu suñ communities ñu jamalanté ñu béno ni lay ñaan ni Okay. 
There was no campaign itinerary for MPP at the Kokum. They were supposed to be at Serakunda Central. And they had a, 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 a rally and program at the Kokunda. It is a, a blatant disregard of IEC rules. There was another incident on video where they set up in Serakunda when they were not supposed to be in Serakunda. So what we are asking is the government or the party that is in power should actually lead when it comes to rule of law and governance. So all of us can also follow. But if the party in power is advocating for disregard of these rules, or advocating for civilians to take the law in their own hands, how about the opposition? And imagine what our children are learning from all of this. The saddest thing about this political back and forth is the lesson we are teaching our children. That if you have a different idea from somebody, you have to fight them. This is a sad case for our country. So I am discouraging everybody from such acts. And if the president is to listen to me, I am advising that let him lead us based on unity, peace, and progress. Based on unity, peace, unity. and progress. Did you, uh, when this happened, Lord Mayor, did you draw permission to the uh, regulatory body, which is the IEC? If yes, what was the arrest? Yes, uh, the officers that are responsible to represent our party have reported all matters to the uh, IEC, etc. And they always say they will work on it although we don't see any results. I myself have tried to reach the IP, IGP, I could not. I tried to reach the Commissioner of PIU, I could not. Um, so uh, definitely, uh, we, we want a government for all. Uh, we don't want a government that tries to serve one party or one section of society. We want the President to lead all of us on fairness and equity. When elections come, let people sell their agendas. We also have so much video evidence of their militants giving money to people sitting on ba uh, with bags of money in corners trying to corrupt people's vote. These are all terrible things that are happening in the Gambia and we would love for this to stop. Thank, right. you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now.